Welcome. In this video, we will see how to create a wind farm model using the Illustrated Component Library. The Illustrated Library allows us to simulate systems by representing the elements in a more visual way while still maintaining accuracy in the results. When starting a new project in Automation Studio, we will select the Electrical folder as our project will mainly consist of an electrical diagram. We will select the Illustrated Components folder and choose Motor Control and Renewable Energy for our project. Once here, we will have access to our Generic Components Library and the Illustrated Components Library for Motor Control and Renewable Energies. For this project, I will insert a wind turbine to extract energy from the wind, a synchronous machine to convert mechanical energy into electricity, and a resistor to simulate electrical consumption. To start our wind turbine, we must introduce the wind parameter into the environment generators. Before connecting the elements with cables and mechanical connections, we will try to adjust the wind turbine we want to represent. In this case, I will simulate a 1.5 megawatts GE turbine. To speed up the example, in this video we have compiled the information about our turbine in an Excel sheet. Now all we need to do is select our turbine, right-click, select component properties, and enter one by one all the values we have compiled in our Excel sheet. This curve model determines the power produced by the turbine based on the wind intensity. To do this, we will select our Excel table and copy it. Now in the power characteristic window, we will select the cells with the table. We will go to the arrow to select all and then paste from the notepad. We will accept and we will obtain the curve we want. Since the power of this turbine is a bit higher, I will need to change the scale of this graph to fully appreciate the curve. To do this, we will go to the settings tab and select a maximum of 30 meters per second and a maximum power of 1.6 megawatts. We can see how we have the representation of our characteristic power curve. Now that we know how to use the component properties window, we can specify the intensity and direction of the wind by entering the wind component properties. This can be done manually or through curves, just like we did with the wind turbine. It is also possible to modify or specify the characteristics of our synchronous machine as well as our resistor. To do this, we will enter the component properties. In the synchronous machine properties, we can customize the parameters or select a default machine. In this example, we will select the 3.0 kilowatts and 1000 RPM predefined machine. Regarding the resistor, we can modify the connections. This can be a star connection or a delta connection, depending on what we want to represent, as well as the resistance in each phase. When configuring the mechanical connections, we will first vertically invert our synchronous machine to orient it in the same direction as the turbine transmission in our diagram. We will insert a mechanical multimeter, a clutch, and a gearbox from the generic component library. We will configure the gearbox size and number of mechanical links, as well as the ratio. We will then add a normally open brake as a safety mechanism. We will continue by adding the rest of the electrical component, such as a three-pole circuit breaker and connect it between the motor and the resistance. When starting the simulation, we observe that the effect of the wind drives the blades of the wind turbine, increasing the revolutions per minute. However, we do not observe any torque or power. This is because our clutch is currently disengaged. Therefore, the wind turbine is disconnected from the synchronous machine. By selecting it, we will create friction and contact between the rest of the transmission. As we can see, the gearbox creates a multiplication of five compared to the initial angular speed. To study the electrical system, we will use dynamic measuring tools located in the measurement tab in the simulation. We will use the dynamic measuring instrument on two nodes to measure the voltage difference between two phases. To do this, we will select the icon and the nodes we want to measure. Since we will be dealing with alternating current, we will use the effective voltage. We will use the dynamic measuring instrument on a component to measure the current on one of the phases. 
As we did with the voltage, since we will have an alternating current, we will choose an effective current and use the unit of measure in amperes. This way, when starting a normal simulation, we can observe the voltage as well as the current in real time. By activating the clutch, we see the value of the voltage vary. As well, when turning on the circuit breaker, we can see the current passing through to the resistive component. We can also analyze the performance values in real time by adding a YT plotter from the simulation tab. Once this window is opened, we will select our values of interest. In this case, these will be the voltage, the current, and we will also study the revolutions per minute generated by the wind turbine. If we want, we can change the scale to observe all the values that have been plotted so far. As we can see, the revolutions per minute of the wind turbine are increasing as the blades have a fairly significant moment of inertia. We can also see that with the clutch disconnected, the electrical current as well as the voltage are null. By connecting the clutch, we observe a decrease in angular speed due to the added moment of inertia of our synchronous machine. However, the electrical current remains null as we still have a closed path between the synchronous machine and the electrical resistance. By opening this path, we observe how the electrical current increases. In this video, we learned to recreate a wind farm using elements from our illustrated library. We also learned to start a simulation and to use a real-time representation. For more information about Automation Studio software, we invite you to visit our website. Thank you very much for watching this video.